life hits me with another one of its punches, I turn to the bag. My father was one of the best boxers in the world, but he never believed in me. It feels like even from day one, he knew I was never going to be as good as he was, so he didn't even bother. The anger that fueled his boxing career was often translated onto my mother. I used to tell myself that he beat me only to make me stronger as a boxer, but I was lying to myself. He beat me because he needed to somehow take his anger out after retiring, and his failure son was a perfect target. My mother was my only motivation, and still is. When I was little, she would always tell me I wasn't like the other kids. She's the only reason I'm still punching this bag today, and I know she'll be in the front row when I make it to the pros. We don't talk much anymore, but I think that's because Dad won't let me see her. I try not to worry about it, because I know she'll be at my fights when the time comes. I remember we stopped talking and seeing each other after she moved into her apartment. I think she moved out because she thought she was a distraction to my boxing. I miss her, but I understand that she wants me to succeed. After she left, my dad became more aggressive, but I think deep down, he was just trying to help me. Thanks to him, I was used to having headaches and gashes on my face most nights, so I was never scared of the boxing ring. He's not as bad as he may seem, though, because eventually he sent me to boxing camp. And that's where I am today, training and waiting to get noticed by one of the recruiters in the long white coats that walk up and down the hall, looking to sign the next up-and-coming boxers. Here are your meds, Edwin. That's one of my trainers. They make sure I have everything I need to stay healthy and ready for my next fight.